Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use an overhead GUI. Now you probably know what an overhead GUI is. It's pretty much what this is showing right now. It just shows that. Um, there's, yeah, it, it's just this owner, or it's just, it's just this title. It's like a custom, uh, build, it's just custom billboard GUI that, um, flow, flows over your head. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And you might not know how it works, and you might just want to use a template. But I can tell you uh, how you make your own. Anyway, so let's just get started. So the first thing about owner, uh, um, overhead GUIs is that you gotta you got to see what's the best properties for each of them. So I guess so we're going to make a template. Yeah, so this is, we're going to use this part to, okay, so, we're going to use this part, okay, yeah, so, okay, so, I'm just going to, oh, what the heck, okay, so now we can, now we can add in a special mesh to this. And let's just change this, change the scale. And now we got our head. Okay, so now we can, let's add in a billboard UI. So, a billboard UI. Okay, so now we want to, now we want to change these properties. So, one thing about billboard UI is, if you use scale for, to change the size, it will just stay in that position, but if you use offset, which is the second columns, then it will just, like, uh, it will just go like that. But scale, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Five, zero, one. So if scale just keeps it in that lock sit, it doesn't, the size doesn't follow with you. That's one thing about scale. So, okay. So now we want to, now we want to uh, add in a studs offset. I'd say three, in case they have uh, hats or anything like that. Now let's uh, insert the, the text. So let's just insert that. Um, that sometimes happens. That's a billboard UI glitch. Okay, so let's just call this. Let's just say player. Or something like that. Another thing I want to do is turn off the light influence. That way, it doesn't change the weight. It doesn't change the uh, the color uh, depending on the lighting. That's what light influence does. We want to keep that to zero. And yeah, that's pretty much what our template looks like. So let's just move. The, let's just keep the text uh, to nothing. And let's just. Put this into server. Actually, let's put this in a script since we're going to script it. Okay. So now we can, yeah, we can delete that head. So if we want to do, we want to do the player added. Yeah, we want to do the player added event. But then we want to do the character added event. Okay. And let's just do character. So if you do not know how what's happening, this is the event that triggers when a player joins the game, and this is when, and this is uh, an event where when the player spawns. So, okay. Now we can do the billboard GUI. So we, let's just do local GUI equals script that billboard billboard GUI, and let's just do clone. Now we can just do gui dot parent equals character dot head, and we can do gui dot um. Let's do g yeah gui dot text label or dot text equals. Let's just do player dot name, and then we can do. Okay, so now, okay, so now we got our billboard UI stuff, and let's see if it works. 
Okay. And now we got our custom UI. Um, the reason why it's kind of above me like a bit is because some um, accessories like that be pinata hat might be hard to see, which I might actually change this from 3 to 2.5, and I just got discorded or pinged. Anyways, let's say you wanted to make it towards, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's say you want a special person to have a diff special color of the text. And why am I getting pinged? Anyways, let's just do. How about we do if G Watt or if player dot name equals. Let's just do my username and then we can do GUI dot text label and we can do dot text color three equals let's just let's use color three dot new. Um I, I like green so I'm gonna do a bright green. Okay. Let's see what happens. And now we have a green text, and this will only show to me and nobody else. But of course, you can change the yeah, you can change the player, or you can change the color stuff. And let's say I'm not a special person. Let's just add in some ease. Okay. So let's see what happens. And now it's back to white because I I am not a special person. Okay. So Please Discord stop pinging me. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned how billboard UIs work and how to make your own billboard UI. There's a pl and there's other ways on making billboard UIs, like making the billboard UI and all that properties entirely inside a script, but I think this is uh, an easier way and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you later. Bye.